Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I um, really appreciate everyone's enthusiasm for my sewing ephemera, sewing pattern ephemera. So um, I'm kind of going to work with that tonight. So the last video I did on the sewing pattern, using sewing patterns, was uh, we made tags and journal cards. So tonight I thought I'd like to make belly bands and uh, bookmarks. I thought that would be fun. So uh, I like a nice sturdy belly band and of course the bookmarks are good to be sturdy too. So I started out with some file folders here, or a file folder. I cut it just, you know, I cut the top off, cut the bottom off and just made it the size, the length of my journal or a little shorter, you know, so it would fit inside and not poke out the top. You know, I mean, it's okay if it pokes out the top uh, for a for a bookmark, but for a belly band, I want it to be no taller than the pages, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit smaller than my actual book cover. That's how I make my pages, is barely smaller than my book cover. So anyway, two pieces, and I thought I would start out, see this one, this side has a, a label on from the manufacturer, so I need to cover that up. But So I'll start with this and make sure, where did it go? I'll put it over here. Hold on. So, like I haven't done this exact Thing before so I was kind of experiment but I wanted to use some this is uh, I put this in my scrap box and it's a instructions for making yo-yos and you know I if I might want to make yo-yos I'm gonna look at a YouTube video right which I have made yo-yos before I have a YouTube video on it <laughs> so yeah I have a YouTube video where I make yo-yos so but I learned from watching a video another video right so um, I thought I would glue this down, first of all, on here with some art glitter glue. And then I have my paper cutter available here. I have my scissors. And then I want to cut this up after we get all the paper down here. I want to cut it up into belly band size and then decorate. So I don't know if we'll get, we're just going to see how much we get done in approximately 30 or so minutes uh, here. So, and so since I'm sewing around these so if you want to just glue these I would say just use whatever glue that you need to do to use to make everything you know securely fastened down uh, I, this is a good art glitter glue of course is a good uh, fastener but on the next layer I'm going to use glow stick because I'm I'm going to be sewing so I just want to get it down and I don't really want to get I don't think I have any Mod Podge right now <laughs> anyway but I, if I did, I really wouldn't want to use, I really kind of, I mean, I will use Mod Podge, but I kind of like really don't like using it very much. So if there's an alternative, I will just use the alternative. So see, I glued over that label and you can't see it now. And my uh, purpose behind using this is that you can see through the tissue. See what I mean? So I thought that would be fun something a little different so for this this one that's what we're gonna do so let me go ahead and I guess I will cut this off with my scissors this layer here so I can see uh, I need to see where I'm putting my tissue so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and I'll have extra here to use on something else so that's cool I can collage it together the pieces or whatever um, so I just dove right in here and didn't say anything about, I hope you all had a good day. <laughs> I worked today. Of course I worked Monday through Friday, so I had a decent day. I'm going to say I had a good day pretty much. <laughs> little incident at the end of the day that I didn't appreciate, but <laughs> overall it was a good day. Better than, uh, well, yesterday I had the day off, so that was an awesome day. <laughs> I took a vacation day. And then uh, the two days before that were, <sighs> that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so I'm glad I had yesterday off. It was already planned. Yesterday, our day off this week was already planned before I knew how stressful Monday and Tuesday were going to be. So I was really glad I had a day off. So I've got all these sewing patterns here that we can have fun with. But let's get this down first. And uh, you see it's a big, I don't know what this was from, pants, pants back. <laughs> so it's a big piece. So I can use this piece down here, which is totally clear, or I can use some of this with some, you know, lines. 
Uh, this is kind of a purpley blue or bluish purple. So uh, I kind of would like to use some lines, I think. Let me take it down to this end and see what we could do here. Uh, so I'm just going to cut a piece off before I glue it down. So uh, let's see if I can really make a kind of a good cut here so I don't waste the lines that I've kept here, the nice uh, darts and things on printed on this top of this paper right here. So I need to cut about right here. So I hope you're crafting along with me and making some uh, sewing ephemera and using your patterns if you didn't know what to do with them or if you wanted to get some and get some ideas before you got them now, maybe this will help. But um, yeah, I love making uh, sewing type themed uh, things. So, okay, glue stick next. So I'm gonna do the glue stick under here and then I'm gonna sew and I might just pause the video and sew and then come back to you so we can save time here and also see some results right during this 30 minutes, right? And not have to come back for results. Like, you know, another day for the sewing part. I would do the sewing part on video, but you know, I don't have, I, I couldn't move my sewing machine over here, but you know, it's just, you know, I'll show you what I did. It's not really something if you um, sew, you know, it's not really something you have to see on video. So I'll just be sewing probably. I'm thinking um, once we cut this up and I want to sew around the edges of the maybe um, bookmarks and and belly bands that I can just cut them up and then sew zigzag stitch. I guess that's what I'm trying to spit out. <laughs> zigzag stitch around the edges. So I'm going to try to get this smooth, but like if I get wrinkles in a sewing pattern when I'm gluing it down, I really don't, it doesn't bother me at all because it's, you know, it's tissue paper and I think a, you know, a wrinkle might just add to the character. So I wouldn't freak out or anything if I got to, you know, or try to even remove it. I'll smooth it out, but if it, there's a wrinkle, I would just leave it, you know. No big deal, I don't think. I think you can just use that, maybe even put some ink on it, distress ink or whatever, and just, you know, bring that character out right there. So, no big deal. So, let's cut around this now. Cut around this and cut the extra tissue paper off. I think this could be really pretty. So I want to do this one. And then I have another idea for another set of some kind of ephemera. I don't know if it'll be journal cards or just what we're making tonight or tags or whatever, but I have another idea that I don't think, of course, we'll have time for tonight. So I'll save that for another video, but I really was kind of, which one do I want to do tonight? I kind of wanted to do both, but you know, going through one at a time. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there we go. Just cutting the extra off here. I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. See how you can see through the tissue? So let's get rid of the extra. These pieces I am not going to save. So <coughs> I'm going to throw them in my trash over here. Got a drink here, just a second. I feel like I just got a piece of dust in my throat. <laughs> Maybe I did. Okay, so, um, let's see, what is this? Oh, it's in trash. Okay, so, now let me get my paper cutter. I'm gonna cut this up, and then we'll pause and sew around, and then we'll decorate. So let's don't dilly-dally so we have time to get everything done here because I haven't pre-cut anything. I just wanted one. I thought you might like to see it from scratch, you know what I mean? Since this is not, you know, like collaging, it doesn't didn't take too long, right? So, um, let's cut this up into, uh, let's see, belly bands can be, you know, it just depends on your journal. I'm going to make it, you can make them, uh, you know, horizontal or vertical. So whatever you, you know, want to do in your journal or wherever you're putting it. Uh, let's see. Maybe you're making a 
ephemera holder or a folio or something. I don't want it. To, I don't want them too wide. I think they're going to probably be about the same width. So, but I want to, you know, I want to end up down here with a good <laughs> uh, size. So, and I want to leave room for sewing. So that one's a little thin, but it's fine. That would be a perfect bookmark. I think I make make this one a little wider for a belly band because I want to have room on there for some, maybe some girls that I cut out from the patterns, right? So let's see. Actually, let me take a couple of girls here. Uh, let's see, will these be the girls? <laughs> and I'm not sure which girls I'll use. Let's say we use this one. She's a little, see, so it'd have to be about like that. Okay, so let's do that. It's quite wide, but I might have to find a find a thinner girl. <laughs> okay, so about right there is what I said, but I'm going to make it a little thinner and maybe find a thinner girl. I kind of really needed the well, I needed the width, and so maybe that could be the um, max for me for my journal for a belly band, and then we'll try to make another bookmark here, the same size. Let's see how this will come out. Uh, a little bit wider. I'm going to make another bookmark a little bit wider than that one. Just trying to use up and not have any scraps that I have to throw away from this. So about like that. A little wider. I'm probably going to have a scrap. <laughs> okay, and then this. Let's see. Let's get this line in here and do it like this okay so this can still be a bookmark yeah this can be a book this can be a bookmark here a little thin, thinner one and this can be a belly band i have that line i want to keep that line on this piece so i'm going to pause and go sew around these i think i will use some black thread i have black thread in my sewing machine right now i believe so it's ready to go so i'll be right back let me pause Okay, guys, I'm back from my stitching around these pieces. So here's the uh, what they look like. I think the any kind of stitching adds a lot, you know, as you can see here. So yeah, you can do messy stitching. You can do some, you know, other if you're I have the project one runway, so you can do some of those other fancy stitches around if you want. But I just wanted to do a quick zigzag around these. So now I'm going to look through my patterns. And uh, also, let's see, let's look through. So these are the patterns that when I was at the estate sale, <laughs> the uh, sisters, the sisters estate sale, uh, they, uh, one of them saw me buying sewing patterns and she came out and stuffed a bunch of more patterns in my bag. And they weren't, see, I picked out the ones that I thought I would use or could use, or they were my style, that kind of thing, 70s you know, little girl, babies, you know, type thing. And she came out and stuck these in there. And these aren't the ones I picked out because you can see they're, um, I guess, newer and not really, you know, the really cool, what I think is really cool, 70s style. So anyway, just to flip through, I'll show you. I think I brought pretty much all of them in here that she, um, they stuffed in my bag, which I didn't mind, I figure. Okay, uh, I guess I'll challenge myself to see what I can do with these. You know so here they are see they're not necessarily any that I would probably use for a cover but I'm sure I will like I thought maybe I could use some of them to decorate these um, and I brought this one in here because see it's torn it's a more 70s style but it's torn so I wouldn't be able to use that on a cover so perfect thing to cut these ladies out and um, use them here on my bookmarks and belly bands and then I also found people on sometimes you can find people on the boy there's a lot in here isn't there <laughs> I found a treasure in one I forget what was it I found I forget now here's some like waxy paper um, what did I find I forget what it was now but I found a treasure in one of the envelopes so you never know what you're gonna find in a pattern sewing pattern envelope <laughs> There might be a treasure in there. It wasn't a valuable treasure or anything. It was just a treasure to me because of some kind of extra little cool piece of paper or something, you know. Okay, so this one's all taped together. I don't know. 
about using that one. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to take that apart. So let me set that aside because I'm not going to use that tonight. Is this one glued together too? Okay, I wanted to show you, I was my goal here was to share with you. Oh, there's no actual paper pattern in there. Okay, let me see. I have I know I have some over here. I kind of separated out from the patterns I was using, already using in the sewing journal. Um some let me keep this one handy because I think I'm gonna need some smaller girls. And then um yeah, the other night I I used on my let me get those over there. On my other ephemera, I used some little a little person from this paper, the, the other pattern paper here. So sometimes you can look on here and find little people too. Of course, there's none on this. This is crispy. I don't know how old this is. It's a little bit crispy. That one doesn't have any. So this is a uh, Annie's Pattern Club. Okay. Let me see, is there any little people on here? Nope, there's just big patterns of uh, some kind of like, maybe appliques or something like that. Okay, so not that one. I do want to decorate these, so I don't want to spend too much time. I'll have to do this off video. Oh, see like right here? These, these you could cut out too. See, the little blue girls here? So let's keep that one. I like those. Those might be good. So, and here's some other little ladies here. See, you can cut those out. Here's some more. Aren't they very stylish? Little ones, if you need little ones. Very cute. Okay, and this is just uh, other things here. Okay, let's put this to the side and work with what we have here. So these, I think, are going to be the perfect size. Let me take all of this out and put it to the side here. Well, like I said, I didn't do any cutting ahead of time because I thought you might like to just to craft with me and, you know, see what we can do here together. Kind of do it from scratch. So, um, yeah, let's see how we can separate these out. So this one has a definitely a division here. They barely are touching elbow and hand here. So I'm just going to go right around her hand and her purse is going to be cut off a little bit so I can keep her arm. So I've got, I don't want to cut off her hair there, be careful. <laughs> so I've got one. And this one I might even attempt to glue back together if I can use her. So let's go ahead and cut her, separate her from her friend here. <laughs> and then uh, what I'll do here, see her leg is there, but I'll be fussy cutting around this. So it'll just be, you know, that won't be there. I'll just fussy cut it right off, right? So let's see. Um, let's go ahead and use her since we're kind of already started cutting her. She's got a pretty outfit on there. I like, love it. Cute plaid jacket and vest. <laughs> I should try to see the date, date on here. Maybe before we, um, let's see. Sometimes it's right here. It's probably, I'm just assuming most of these are 70s, but uh, 70, 76 right here. This was 76. Very cool. That's awesome. Okay, so her arm is in, and her hand is in her pocket, so that's good. Less fussy cutting around her arm and hand there. And then uh, I have smaller scissors that I can grab if I need them, but uh, since I'm just going to... Go around real quick and cut her out. She's got some pretty curly hair. So cut around her curls. <laughs> cut around her curls. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm going to cut around her curls and her. I'm not going to cut out. See that little piece right there? I'm not going to cut that out. That's going to stay there. But um, and we'll see which one she hopes she fits on one. I'm sure she'll fit on one of them. But uh, yeah, my sewing machine. I thought something was going to fall there. My, I have a brother. Um, the one I've had the longest is my brother. Project Runway. 
And so about a month or so ago, I went to do a bobbin. I haven't done a bobbin since. I'm going to try it again. I'm not giving up on it. But I went to do a bobbin, and it didn't work. Nothing I could, nothing I could do. Everything was right. You know, I mean, I've done hundreds of bobbins on there, right? But uh, it didn't want to wind my bobbin. It just didn't do anything. It just, like, it, I don't know. So, fortunately, I have another sewing machine, so I'm able to use the bobbin winder on that one to make my bobbins. But then I didn't have it gone back and tried my Project Runway yet, so I'm going to go back and try it again. And if it doesn't work this again next time, I'll know, like, that's it, the bobbin winder doesn't work anymore on there. I never had a bobbin winder stop working before, but maybe I never wound so many bobbins as I have on this one. I have done more sewing on this one than uh, probably any other sewing machine I've ever had since I started, you know, sewing and set up my craft room really was able to, you know, do some regular sewing for my journals and crafting. So yeah, that, that has gotten more use than any other sewing machine. But then this week, what well, stopped working? Oh, my, when you, the little lever where you lower your presser foot, it, um, it goes up and down. Like I can raise and lower the, uh, presser foot, but it doesn't stay up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so I can raise it, take my fabric out, put my favorite fabric in, whatever, get it ready to go. So raise it take my favorite fabric out but then when I when I put the lever up the presser foot stays down <laughs> so it's a little confusing like because uh, if you don't have the lever down your sewing machine won't sew right it's like I guess a safety mechanism oh I left a, <laughs> I left an extra leg there you guys why didn't you tell me I'm just talking away here it's left the left extra leg on there okay anyway <laughs> Totally something I would do, right? So, there we go. That's better. She doesn't have an extra leg now. <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys... I was wondering if anyone else has had, like... Uh, I mean, I've had this sewing machine... Well, when did I set up my... Let's see. My son is... Since he moved out. He's been moved out about... So, maybe I've had it set up in here for about... I'm going to say five years. I'm going to guess five years. So... But the sewing machine is older than that. I've had it for at least seven years, say. Or I used it before that a little bit. But um, there she is. Okay, so there, I'm not going to get rid of this. I might want to use this number here on something. That would be cool. And probably that's it. That's probably the only other thing I would use on there. I've got two more ladies. So let's see. Let's get the trash out of the way and see where she fits. So she'll fit. Let's find the skinniest one because the skinniest, this is the skinniest one here. So is she, wow, she, she'll she fit on the skinniest. No, maybe not. Her foot's sticking out there. Maybe her foot is sticking out right there. So she doesn't fit on that one. The next skinniest one. Okay, so she, her toe's sticking out on that one. Okay, the next, let's see, I think this is the next one. So I guess she'll go on here. Okay, so I have to have something smaller than her if I want to have a lady on here. And then the other two can be her size or bigger. <clears throat> okay, so let's glue her down. Start with that. Anyway, I was wondering if um, if you all, anyone out there has had a sew machine, this sew machine, as long as I have. And if you've had those problems, and if you did, did you get it fixed? Or maybe you've had it almost as long as me, and if you did have those problems, would you get it fixed? You know what I mean? Because you know Project One Rays are not expensive. Um, probably, I'm going to guess, uh, if I remember, I paid, a, what, $125, $135, something like that. So, you know, what would it cost to get it fixed? 50 bucks or something? I don't know. Get those two things fixed, and, you know, you wouldn't put that into that price of a machine you just put it into a new machine right I mean I think that would be probably the logical thing to do so <laughs> okay so I glued her down I left room at the top for maybe some decoration I don't know if I'll punch a hole put a tassel or if this is a belly band I'll be sewing it down on the top and bottom and yeah I'll probably save the skinnier ones for bookmarks and use these three for belly bands okay 
So that's going to be my plan. Two bookmarks and three belly bands. So like I said, I might use that number. What did I do with it? Let's go ahead and use it now. And then um, we might, since you've got the idea here, I might go ahead and, you know, fussy cut out these ladies and decorate, you know, with the ladies and the numbers and p pattern pieces on the others. And I'll come back and show, you know, do maybe uh, figure out what I want to do on the top and the bottom or what else I want to put on here. Maybe a little tassel on the bookmarks or, you know, something. So I'll figure that out and come back and show you what I do. So since I'm saving a room up here for possible fabric or tassel or something, I'm going to put this on the bottom. Let's see. There's a little piece of white here that I don't want on there. Let's see. Will this all, will all fit? Yes. Okay. I don't want to cover up her shoe. Her stylish little sandals there. They look like sandals you'd wear today. They're wedges. Those are in style now, too. That's hot. Yes, you know that's, that's true, the 70s. <laughs> Some 70s stuff is back. Some isn't, thank goodness. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's down. Yeah, that's all down. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Cut out some more girls and decorate these. And then I'll come back and uh, just show you. We'll do some more together, okay? So that's another idea for using. I might use some of these too. I think these are really cute, the little ones on the pattern paper. And I have two more ideas at least for the pattern pattern envelopes in, you know, ephemera. So that's just what I, like I had on my mind tonight, like three things I wanted to do. And I could only do one at a time, right? <laughs> and then um, I'm sure I have more ideas. I just was like, had those three because I'm most excited about um, those other two ideas besides this one. So, so cute already, right? With the little number and everything. And so I'll see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed this uh, part of the ephemera, and I will be back with another video. So, uh, keep watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!